Hey YouTube, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. If you're worried about an airborne disease or virus, then having a good N95 mask is going to be extremely important. Hey YouTube, I'm not sure if you understood that through my little N95 mask here, but I want to talk about, there's been a lot of concern about airborne diseases and viruses going around. So having an N95 mask is going to be very important, and having a good quality N95 mask is even more important. And we're going to talk about a couple different things with these N95 masks. Be very cautious when looking at these that one size does not fit all. What will fit my face may not necessarily fit your face. Uh, if you have facial hair, you have a mustache, you have a beard, this N95 mask will not get a good seal. And if it doesn't get a good seal, then you might as well not even be wearing one. They make them all the way to extra small to all the way to extra large. So depending on your facial structure, then you're going to need different sizes. Your family members, your kids, they're all going to need different sizes if you're wanting to protect yourself from airborne diseases and viruses. The one I'm wearing is a good hospital grade. It's made by 3M. So you want to get a good quality one. When you put the mask on, you want to make sure that you get a good seal here, here, and up under your chin. This needs to be good sealed and tight. So when you're talking like this, you don't want anything leaking around. You don't want to feel any gaps in your face. When you're moving your face around, you're looking like this, you don't want any gap or any space around to make sure this stays sealed. These N95 masks are made to protect the rescuer or the healthcare worker, but you can also put them on the sick. This is also going to help uh, protect a little bit of a barrier in between people who are coughing, who are uh, spitting up blood. It's going to help protect the barrier there as well. So this is not only for the healthcare worker, the rescuer, but also as the patient. I hope this video helped. You never know when you'll be the first responder. 